Hey buddy, Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Okay, now today we're gonna do something a little different. I noticed you guys don't like videos over 10 minutes long, which I can understand that. And you're probably getting tired of watching car repair videos, and maybe you want something a little different. Now I noticed you guys like the Bedini motor video, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to build the world's simplest motor. And all it is, is three parts. Come here, take a look at this. All you need, to believe it or not, is uh, some 12 to 18 gauge wire, solid copper in the center, um, one AA battery, and one neodymium magnet right there. And this is all you need to build a motor. And I'm going to show you how to do it step by step so you can build your own and what it's supposed to do when you're finished. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your wire out and you're going to figure out how long of a wire you need. So you're, what you're going to do is you're going to measure the length of the battery with the wire on the side and whatever magnet you're using. I'm going to use this one right here. And you need at least half of the outer circumference of the magnet and then plus it's going to double up to the top. So in my scenario, I'm going to need this times two. So we're going to go ahead and cut that much wire off. Alright, so you should have a piece of wire about yay long. About like such. Now what you're going to want to do is the top piece right here, you want some of that insulation taken off. So I've already got him marked with a bend. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to open them up with my handy dandy strippers. Not the kind that you pay for in Vegas. <laughs> okay. So, open him up. You're going to bend him over like such. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, so you're just going to bend him over. Then you're going to crimp the end like such. Now what you're going to do is see these two end pieces right here? Take your handy dandy strippers, strip off a whole lot of wire. It's better to have more off than less. Like such. Get them to be the exact same length. See how I got a little bit more there on one side than the other? Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that to the shape of the magnet, like that, for one side, like that for the other side. See that? Alright. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend these corners at right angles. Now you can use a pair of pliers to help bend those up, like that. And I'm going to bend that one up like that. Okay, now, see this top piece? You're going to want to bend him over like such. Kind of like making a small heart. See that? Okay. Alright, so when you're finished, it should look something like this. I don't know if you can see that. See, I got the two tips there. Okay, so what you're going to do then, is you're going to put your battery on top of your magnet, like such. Now I put a little rubber grommet up on top there, and you slide this over the top, like such, and voila, the world's simplest motor. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today's little uh, demonstration on how to build the world's smallest electric motor. Only three parts. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on this thing, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as you can. So until next time, this has been Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying free energy may not be a myth. Alright, see you later.